The famous in my town of South Carolina, Beacon, which is where you can every day of the year get artery clogging food. Why am I here? You're wondering. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because my mom for Thanksgiving is in charge of the dressing and the gravy, and this is where she's ordered it from because. My mama don't cook, you know what I'm saying? But she likes a good dressing, and this is where they have it, and it will be not something I would ever consume myself, but I will be very happy to help my mommy out and pick it up for her with the giblet gravy on the side. I won't even be tempted to put my hand in the box while it's in here because, hello, why would I? I have fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables to keep me alive and help me thrive every dang day. When you go to your Thanksgiving celebration, this is a thing when people are new on this lifestyle. I was just talking to Scott about this. Where he, his family is going, they're like, um, well, what do you mean you don't eat meat? And uh, they're, they're still hung up on that, okay? What if the only thing I excluded from my diet was meat? Hello, you can eat everything else in the world and you can still trash your body up by even, let's say, vegan junk food. I'm not about any of that. But back to his problem. So they're, they're saying, well, you know, we wanted to have a, tra a traditional Thanksgiving. And he's saying, well, okay, eat whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to bring food, you know. And, and they were like not on board with that. He absolutely is not going because of that. And I said, go anyway and be you. Go and enjoy your family. Why should you let one person's ridiculous thoughts of stupidity stop you from being around your mommy and daddy who aren't going to be around forever? Why should you let them do that? No one will stop me from going where I want to go, being where I want to be, and being me. I'll even pick up the dressing for people if that's what they want. It is not my job in life to change everybody's viewpoint. It's my job in life to when they say, God, why do you feel so good to tell them then? <laughs> Drink away the days with a takeaway pizza. Before a text message was the only way to reach her. Now she's staying at my place and loves the way I treat her. Singing out Aretha all over the track like a feet. Ah, uh, Ed Sheeran, sexy. I, listen, I have just been out to buy all of my things I'm going to bring to the Thanksgiving feast. I have decided on a corn and Probably some zucchini, uh, cracked pepper, tortilla chips, bam, with an avocado guacamole style dip, which I will cut with some other vegetables so I can consume way more with not way more fat, you see? And then it's all about what I'm going to eat there is, is what I'm saying, because people are so thrilled that I say, oh, well, don't worry about me. I'll just, I'll just bring something that I can eat too, and they're like... Thank gosh, because we don't have to deal with that, okay? So since they're not dealing with that, I'll bring what I want. And I'm going to have the extravaganza vegetable lettuce salad where I have the butter leaf lettuce and the red leaf lettuce, which are so creamy, so delicious. My mouth is watering now. I have some little chopped dates to put on there, which are light little candies. I'm going to put some sun-dried tomatoes and I'm going to make my creamy mock ranch dressing to go on that and yes it will be look I am excited to eat that myself and then I will still feel good frankly people genuinely wonder if I've been drinking or what drugs I'm on because I feel so much better than them sorry Charlie get on board right so also I want to say this this is how another reason I'm constantly shopping for deals so that I can stretch my tiny little budget into gr the grand scheme of things. Here is, look, I just found these. These are elf eyeshadows. Look at this. These are vegan and cruelty free. No animal testing. Y'all, $2 for my little girl. I got like three different ones of those and a blusher and all kinds of some, um, very expensive eyebrow tweezers which she does she loves all these things because you know how it is when you become a mommy you think well i guess i can't have those things i got her all kinds of very cute panties and bras on the cheap she will be so excited here's the main thing i wanted to come to y'all tell you i got this is is the two dollar item that can absolutely change your life are you ready for this doing good and feeling good 
are connected. Do you know what I'm saying? This right here is what could change your life. Let me show you while I'm at the red light. It is the $2 very cute journal. And in here there's even like, um, don't worry, no one's on the road but me. There are scores of people waiting on someone just like you to come along. People who will appreciate your unique talents. This could be your new you, new food and lifestyle journal. If you would start to do that every day, putting down what you're really doing and the results you're really getting or not getting, you could absolutely transform out of your chrysalis into the butterfly you're meant to be. Every day of my life for the past 10 years, a decade have I done a food and lifestyle journal. Every day at the bottom it says the same things and some, sometimes I will even continue to put like the little notations of things that don't even bother me anymore just because frankly I like to see how I recover from that. I used to have to put at the bottom I would have like BM. I know that's too much information but I used to never go to the bathroom so I would have to put the results of the daily situation of that right there. I don't have that problem anymore, but I still put that because I like to just put smile. I used to put, this is a weird thing, I used to put tongue dash. That is because for years I had tongue lesions and acid style bumps all over my mouth and I would be in such dang pain every day. I would put, was it better? Was it worse? Until guess what? Smile. Every day I used to put my weight. Now I don't weigh myself. I always weigh the same thing. I've noticed that I continue to weigh the same thing, though I'm developing more muscle and even less body fat. Bam. Um, what else did I, I would put, um, swelling. I used to have a serious problem with swelling. Every day I, I would wake up and it would be like my eyes had been punched. My joints wouldn't move. And I would have like, I would put a number, one through ten, that would re represent the amount of swelling I had that day. Okay, and then I would have pain. What were my pain markers that day? Because I had arthritis. And finally, mood. How mentally did I feel that day? You know? But now a lot of those things don't even really apply at all to me, but I, I sometimes still put those just to, to basically bask in, in my success, you know? But every day I wake up and I put rise, I put how much water I had. Um, over to the side, I always put my total water of the day. Um, I will put what I have for breakfast, lunch, snack, for dinner. That way I know the next day when I look at my results, how did that work out for me for yesterday? Did I have some things, like I've started to really notice, like I've told y'all, pesticides bother me, and I've been able to, to pinpoint that to certain celery and different things, so it works. It is an, a way for you to, you can even like put at the bottom, maybe you're having, I don't know, what self-love do you have every day for yourself? Celebrating you is the point. And I also got this one that was $4. I was a big spender on this, but it looks like this. And don't stress, run my name it. And let's see, it says, my grand plans. You can do this journal. Time's a waste, and it says, believe in the power of you. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Do what makes your heart sing. Let what you love be what you do. My grand plans, you know, my grand plans are to celebrate myself, to be on the next rung of my ladder, and next year, I will, not even next year, every day I plan on bringing it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? But next year, I'm gonna be starting some yoga, I'm gonna be doing some different things to really amp up my fitness level, um, doing a little more even core strength than I typically do, um, improving myself so that I'm the best version of me so that I can give, give, give to those I love, you know? So I just want to say that. And I want to show you all my extreme deals I got on that. My daughter will be very excited. And I am going up there for Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm fixing to show you all what I'm going to bring. And um, I was going to kind of save those for Christmas, but she might want them now. So we'll see if we can wait or not. <laughs> ah, see y'all later. Must be the money. <laughs> I'm all gangster today. <laughs> Must be the money. <laughs> Let's turn it up. <laughs>
Look, this is like my dream house. When I grow up, I'm going to live right here. I do know this dude that lives here. Beautiful. <laughs> I was just in the grocery store, of course, because it's the day before Thanksgiving, giving thanks for the main part of the meal, which is, duh, the salad. And somebody at the register said, oh, you're cooking? I said, well, I'm bringing the most important things. And they said, yeah, what, what are you making? And I said, the salad. I, I'm excited because I've got my corn tortillas going. I have got my guacamole extravaganza, bam, in the making. And I had to yet again hustle and bustle out to the store with all of the, the turkey eaters, gobble, gobble. And no one was really in the salad and produce section, which was fabulous for me. And still, I am in hot pursuit of the Dulce Flakes with cayenne seasoning accent in there because no one has them. And I will have those, okay, because it's my Thanksgiving and I'm going to do it my way, you know? <laughs> Must be the money. <laughs> and another side note on parenting, you know, I'll tell you what, when you can stop and really listen to your teenagers and listen to teenagers in general, these kids have some good things to say and that so many of them have such good hearts now and they've been through so much crap in their life at 16 and 17 years old that it's worth taking a minute to listen to them, you know, to try to get past the hard candy shell into the soft inside, you know, and just getting past the look of, do they have this look of, um, I don't know. You all know that are my age, how back in school it was either you were the jock or you were the prep or you were the valley girl in my case or whatever it was you thought you were, okay? The thing is, maybe they have like a, a gothic look. Maybe they have, I don't know. You cannot always judge a book by its cover. I know that. That's all I have to say about that.